Mr. McCorber in David Copperfield. 
Charles Dickens had been writing stories ever since he was a boy at school. Now, like all people who write stories, he wanted to see one of them in print. So at the age of 21, he carefully wrote out a fur copy of a story called A Dinner at Poplar Walk. There was in London a publication called The Monthly Magazine, and young Mr. Dickens, greatly daring, decided to send his story safe postage, he went to the offices of the magazine and dropped it into the letterbox. It was not a very good story, but it was published, and Dickens afterwards wrote that when he saw it actually in print, his eyes dimmed with tears of joy and pride. It was a great day for Charles Dickens, but an even greater day if they had only known it. For millions of people all over the world, story for yourself in a book called Sketches by Boz. The title has been changed to Mr. Mins and his cousin. Charles was not paid anything for his story. Perhaps he did not expect to be. His happiness at seeing it in print was all the reward he wanted. a natural born storyteller, never happier than when he was writing. Now that he had found someone to publish his stories, he was happier still, although he afterwards became a very good businessman. At twenty-one, he was too young, or perhaps too happy, to worry about whether he was paid or not. All he wanted to do was to write. Soon there were enough stories to make a book
house in which he was to live for the rest of his life. He also, at the same time, made a dream of little Charles Dickens come true. As a small boy, he had looked at a rather peculiar house at Gads Hill, near Chatham, and thought how wonderful it would be to live in a house like that. His father had once said to him that if he were to work hard, he might one day have it for his own.
just a 